Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the IIT Jam 2020 Mathematics. Today we will see how you can solve this part A, that is a complete solution of one marks is myself Dr. Garg. So let's start with this one, how you can solve this all these questions with some shortcut tricks so that you can complete them within a one minute uh, for the each question. So look at that, the first question is you have to find the value of the x which satisfied here. Since m is my uh, 2 cross 2 matrix, so definitely whenever you have to compute m, m raised to power 8, it will be my 2 cross 2. And when you multiply this with the help of 1 comma 0, you will get x here. So it means basically what you want to find, you, your target is to find this element. Because this will give you the x element because due to presence of here. So it means you have to find the value of the a11 in the m raised to power 8. How you can compute that? That's again very simple. We can start from the m square. We can compute the m raised to power 4 and then m raised to power 8. How you can compute the m square is 1101 1110. So what is that? This is 1 plus 1 is 2, 1, 1 and 1. m4, you can multiply them again. So it's a 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 3 here. Now for the last part here, your target is to only compute the this element only. So what is that? This is 25 plus of 9. 25 plus 9 is my 34 is the right answer. There is no need to compute the other parts of it. Look at the another one is there. This is corresponding to the rank of the 4 cross 6. So when it will be the rank 1, you have to discard. The, uh, uh, students may try to use the row equivalent format there, but there is no need to solve like this way. It may take a, a lot of time. When it will be 1, when you have defined the rank of the uh, rank of A of order 2 is my 0. Can you find any of the matrix 2 by 2 whose uh, rank, whose determinant is a non-zero? You can easily see that this is my 2 cross 2 whose determinant is a non-zero, it means this is cancel out. Do you find any of the matrix here whose uh, determinant of order, uh, whose order 3 but uh, determinant is a non-zero? You can see the below one, this is the i elements. So it means, th what is that? This is the determinant is a non-zero, it means rank can never be the 2. Similarly, you can find that, is it, is it possible to find the any of the 4 cross 4 matrix? You can see that these 3 are 0, so it is better you can consider these elements are there. You can easily find that determinant of this corresponding to this one element. What is that? This is 1, uh, 0 minus 1, minus 1 of 1 minus 0. What is that? This is minus of 2 which is non zero. It means the rank is my 4 is there. Look at the another one is there which is that uh, V is the vector space of polynomial of degree 6 with the 0 elements are there. It means F of 0 is belongs to here you have to uh, find the subspace. What are the properties of the subspace are there? So what is the property subspace that zero element must be there, identity elements and their uh, the closure property holds. That's the only meaning of that. So can you see about that the zero elements belong to this? So what is that? If I consider any of the polynomial whose zero element it means here. So can you say f of zero if I consider f of half is it zero? Is it belongs to the queue? No. Yes. It means uh, it doesn't belong to the queue. It means what is that? F of 0 is half. It doesn't belong to the queue. Is it so? So it may clearly say that it doesn't belong. Apart from them, you can say A F plus B of G. If I consider of the here for F and G belongs to the this set S. So what is that? A F of half is doesn't belong to the doesn't belong to this and B of G. So if F doesn't belong to the Q, f of half so I can consider is root 2 so this is a of root 2 b is a root of 3 can you say this is also not belongs to the q it is not true why if you consider a as of root 2 b as of root 3 then clearly says that this value is 5 which belongs to the q so it means this element is cancel out look about here if you consider f of x is 0 what is that this is f of half is my 1 which is non 0 it means 0 element doesn't is cancel out p. similarly for here if you consider as the derivative of this, so if I consider here, what is that derivative, uh, any of the constant value say, f, what is the derivative is my 0, so what is that, uh, f of half is my 0 which is not equal to 1, this option is cancelled out, so right answer is my here by the property of 0 element. Look at the next one are there which is of the group, so order of the group is my 20, 22, order of the h is my 3, 3, 7, order of the k is my 6, 74. 
then h union k is also the subgroup when the h union k will be the subgroup h union k will be the subgroup if either h is the subset of the k or k contains in the h either h contains k or k contains h so which one of the following properties satisfy according to this so since order of the h is less than of the order of k it means this property holds it means this is cancel out if this holds then what is the h union k which is nothing but my k so order of the h union k is nothing but order of k which of the following statement is false so order of the h union k is k this is my k so this property is cancel out also h is the normal subgroup that's a true this is also true so this property is cancel out so that's the right answer for this problem because you have to find the false statement you have to find the radius of convergence of this series so there are the two ways you can find that if you compare them with the help of here then your radius of convergence will be my uh, an upon an plus 1 but here this is for the x raised to power n but here x raised to power n so what you can do is if you consider this is my an then you can find the an plus 1 upon an now is for the convergence what is the property of the convergence it should be less than of the 1 so you can substitute the value here this is n plus 1 cube 5 raised to power uh, x raised to power 5 n plus 5 upon 4 raised to power n plus 1 divided by n cube 4 raised to power n 5 raised to power n is less than 1 so what is that you can easily see what is this as n approaches infinity so 1 4 n will be cancel out here x raised to power 5 is less than 1 what is that this is 4 raised to power 1 by 5p otherwise you can also compute like this way you can find you can take a of n is my here only you can compute the an upon an plus 1 what is that this is nothing but n plus 1 cube upon 4 is to power n plus 1 n cube of 4 is power 1 so as n approaches infinity what will happen this will goes to the 1 this will goes to the 1 by 4 or an plus 1 upon an is my 4 so therefore now this if you compare them it will be x raised to power 5 of n it means x raised to power 5n is less than of the 4 so what is the mod of the x is 4 raised to power 1 by 5 is the again right answer so you can use any of the way are there look at the another are there which of the following series is convergent divergent and so on so again very simple you can see this is my arithmetic series this is my geometric series so arithmetic series is always be greater than of the geometric series or you can say x of n is always greater than of here for n now you can see i can start from this one if i add them y is y n on the both side and divided by 2 what will happen this is my greater than of what will happen this is if i add y, y on both side it will be my here also xn is my greater than of this also if you add xn on this side what will happen this is xn is greater than of the xn plus 1 So what is the meaning of that? If I add x n on both side divided by two, it means x n plus one is less than of this. This is it means it's a decreasing sequence. Also, x n plus one is greater than of the y n, so it means like here. So it means x n is my decreasing. Similarly, if you start from here, if I we know that x n is my greater than of the y n. If I multiply both side by x n firstly and then y n firstly, you can see this is my here. What is the meaning of that? this is my increasing sequence so when the convergent is there monotonically increasing and monotonically decreasing sequence is convergent provided provided when it is a it's a increasing sequence then it is a bounded above it is a bounded below now it's a very simple you can see that yn is less than of this so y1 is less than y2 less than y3 and so on but this is nothing but my half so it is a bounded similarly from here you can see x1 so you can see x2 is less than x1 less than x3 and so on it is x1 is my one so it, again it is a bounded so it means both are the convergent so this option is cancel out this option is cancel out now you can check that which one is whether the limits are same or not you can take limit as a l for the x and m for here you can see l is m right answer is my here you can see the next one is there so which is related to the limit so let's see do firstly here so if you consider this is there and square of here now you can consider the v of n is my 1 by n square of this that is this one so un upon vn what is that this is nothing but my of here 
which goes to the 1 as n approaches infinity. That's a finite value. So, but this is my divergent series by the p test. It means this series is my divergent. So, this option is cancelled out. This option is cancelled out. Now, look about this one. So, if you consider u of n is my here. Now, what is the v of n? So, if you take 3 raised to power n common from the upside and this one. So, what is the u n upon v n? It will be my 1 which is again a non-zero but you can see this is a convergent series by the GP test. So, you can see GP test is convergent when r is less than 1. So, 3 by 5 is less than. So, this is my convergent series. So, this is convergent, this is divergent. That's the right answer. Which of the following series is convergent? Uh, this series is convergent for what value of the p? Again, a very simple if you consider this is my u of n. Now, if you consider v of n is my 1 here, so what is the value of the u n upon v n? 1 upon here. So, it will goes to the 0 as n approaches infinity if p is less than of the 0 p. Also, if it goes to the 1 if p is my go greater than 0. So, when p it is, great, it is 1, it means this series is convergent when m is greater than 1 p. But what will happen if p is less than 0? Is it convergent to? So, if p is less than 0, so what is the meaning of that? It will be my here. So, since m is a very large number, we consider m is very large number. So, m minus p will definitely be a positive number. So, if you consider again here, then this is again be a convergent RT. Otherwise, what is the second method is that if you look about that, if you consider m is my 1, p is greater than 1. So, if I consider p as of 2, so what is my u n is there? What is the n? 1 plus n square. So, if you simplify them, this is n square plus 1. So, if you consider the v of n is my 1 by n, you can see that this is my divergent series. So, this is not convergent. Similarly for here, if you consider m lies between 0, 1, so it will take as and say half. p, you can take any of the value here. So now, now you can take v of n is 1 by half. It is a divergent series, but we need a convergence. So these options are discarded. Look at the ninth questions are there. So which is related to the solutions are there, which of that. So all of you know that this is the wave equation. What is the solution of the wave equation? This is nothing but my f of x minus ct plus f of x my plus of ct. You can see that this is of the this form. So this is the right answer. And these are the heat and all others are there which is not of this form. These are not be there. Otherwise what you can do that you can simply take the derivative with respect to x. What is that? This is e raised to power x plus ct of square into 1 derivative with respect to x x minus ct of that is the Leibniz, uh, Leibniz integration derivatives. Again you can take the second derivative. So if you take the second derivative 2 will be cancelled out. If you take 1 by c this is x plus of ct e raised to power this minus e raised to power x minus ct this is x plus ct and x minus of ct. 2 will be cancelled out. Now you can take the derivative with respect to the small t 1 by 2 c is there e raised power of this. So, e raised power uh, derivative with respect to the t. So, this will be x plus c t square into c minus e raised power x minus c t square of minus c. So, it will be the plus of c. You can see c will be cancelled out p. So, now again you can take the second derivative. So, it will be the 2. So, 2 will be outside. So, again it will be the c. So, it will be the c times x plus c t of here minus my plus minus minus so it will be the c x minus of c t e raised to power of this b. Now you can compare them this part are similar if you take c as a common this will be cancelled out this part are similar so that is a c times of the u x x so c square of this is the right answer. Look at the last question are there how you can find this is nothing but my Jacobian that so again very simple are there at the point you can convert them to the polar form if you want but I think there is no need that's a very simple task. What is the partial derivative with respect to x? This is the one you can take as a, a product rule this is the x is my 1 upon x square plus y square and this is my with respect to x that is my uh, 2x square upon x square plus y square of whole square. Now add the point cos and sine so denominator is 1 
this is one so this will be cancel out minus minus plus so this will be my minus minus plus this will be my 2 cos square theta what is the partial derivative with respect to y is so this will be the 0 minus of 2xy upon x square plus y square of whole square so what is that again it's 1 it's a plus 2 sin theta cos theta that is nothing but my sin of 2 theta Similarly, if you take as a partial derivative of v with respect to x, this will be the 0. It will be my minus of 2xy upon x square plus y square whole square. It will be minus of sine 2 theta. And what is the partial derivative with respect to y? So what is that 1? So again, it will be taken as x square plus y square minus of 2y square upon whole square. So what is that? x square plus y square is will be 1. So 1 plus 1, 2, 2 minus of 2y square. So y is my sign. If you substitute here, this is my 2 cos square. So what is that? This is 4 cos square plus of sin square of 2 theta. So I can expand the sine of 2 theta because I need angle as a 1. So I can take as a 4 cos square as a common. So it will be my, so it's 4. So it's my cos square plus of sin square. That's a 1. So the right answer is my of this so these are the way you can solve this 10 question within a 10 minutes or 10 to 12 minutes for your in your examinations in a very simple manner we will see some more questions that is a section part 11 to 32 marks each in our next videos till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students thank you